Okay, so you guys just saw me put on this headband wig and um, so far I have really nothing to say about it. Um, I do have a little head. So I'm gonna show you guys this really quickly and try to repin the hair out of the way. But the amount of Velcro that they have, I suggest they actually make the Velcro longer. Um, but I, you know, to like, to wear it tight or how I would want it tight, like I would actually want it a little bit tighter. Um, and as you guys can see, I get the very end of it. And just something that I would do, the little flappy part, get a black bobby pin and just pin it down. Cause I mean, if you get another color, it'd be a little, a little more noticeable, but um, it's pretty snug like that. Um, I wish it had a little more Velcro to make it a little more tighter, but um, yeah, this is a very easy, quick wig that if you just wanted to slip it on and go, honey, you do that. Um, it comes with, I think, four clips, and I did slide the clip into my hair for a little more security. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. Um, I really like the bun. Let's go back to the bun. Just pull it all up. I'm really for like a messy bun. Let's split mine in the middle. Let's see how that's looking. Tease curly hair. Just <laughs> love to tease it. Love to tease it. No cap in my fat. I'm liking this thing, man. It. I was gonna give it to my sister. This is very convenient. Like, this is very convenient, y'all. Very convenient. I'm gonna get more, I need more like fall inspired like bands because I like this. I like this. <laughs> I like it. I think I might keep this one black. You know, all my hair is like color right now, but I like the black look. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys on to a little secret. So I actually have braids underneath this wig. I took out like one of my braids and I slicked the hair back and bobby pinned it. I should show you guys. Okay, so I'm going to uninstall this now so I can show you guys what's underneath. So I'm gonna take out the bobby pin because remember I have a little head. Bobby pin out. Take out the Velcro out. The combs because I, I did use the combs. Okay, so now I'm about to show you guys what I did. And you can do this with like a sleek back ponytail under it. You can do flat twists, anything. As long as like, if you want that hairline look first, just have enough to where you have, you can slick your hair and then put it on. Now you can also go for like that natural tease look. You don't have to sleek your hair. You can just brush your hair back and put the wig on. But um, this is actually like, You do not need braids to achieve a headband wig, all right? I've seen so many tutorials now where people do like two dookie braids. You can slick your hair back into a ponytail. Um, if you have a TWA, all you need to do is kind of get that front laid down. You can sit your wig on top of your TWA. But um, however you can install it to where the wig is sitting and it's snug, you're good. <laughs> 
But shout out to Love Me Hair. Thank you so much for sending me over your headband wig. Um, definitely gonna be utilizing it. It's very convenient, very manageable, all right? It's very manageable. Um, also, one of those curly hairstyles that you don't have to manipulate, just put it on and go. Foof it up if you want some volume, put it in a bud, put it in a ponytail. If you want it more defined, um, wet it, put your leave-in, your mousse, your defining products, your curl defining products, and have a blast. Um, but yeah, you guys just saw me take off the wig, so enjoy these next few clips of me just wearing the wig and... Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Something quick and simple. This is not a long video at all. No, was it? No. No, it wasn't. <laughs>